yeah, I had to I had to stop it at 455 because on Instagram, I don't want to just post these videos on Instagram. I want to post them on YouTube too. Insta Instagram don't let you post nothing over 15 minutes. So I, I stopped it at 1455. And it still might don't let me post it. But anyway, um So now I'm getting to the chicken. I'm I'm I'm, I'm fake winning. I'm winning, but I'm fake winning is like I'm not winning how I really want to win, but I'm getting to it. So um at 09, you know, the chick I was fucking with from Marble Hill, she was like letting me rock. She was letting me do what I want to do, whatever, whatever. But she was like, sheep, just be be mindful of who was there for you when you was down. I'm like, nah, I got you, queen, whatever, whatever. Boom. So um, I wound up meeting my um my fourth baby mother out in Yonkers. Because my fourth baby mother is my first baby mother and my fourth baby mother is from Mount Vernon. But my fourth baby mother was in Yonkers. And she was heavy out there with the dust water. And she had the perks. So anyway, me and her links up. We rocking. And um, I'm moving and shaking. Now I got the keys to two different chicks, Chris. My, f my fourth baby mother. This before she had my kid. We rocking. And the cougar, um, the, the older joint. So so anyway, I'm, I'm hustling. I'm moving and shaking. I'm getting to it. Boom, boom, boom. And then from there, it was just a, a, a bunch of different transitions ups and downs and all that but I, I had to strategize and I came up with plans and different things that worked for me so one thing I learned yeah it worked for me I learned how to bid in the streets and what I mean bid in the streets is this I'm still on jail time but in the streets I say this a lot in my blogs because I need y'all to understand the importance of having a regiment and being disciplined right so I bid on the street so I always keep two jobs and outside of the two jobs is my programs my apartment is my is my sale if I go food shopping they load up on food that's commissary when I'm on when I'm in one of the parks in Harlem or in the Bronx working out pull-ups push-ups dips and all that that's the yard that's wreck Right, that's wreck. Um, outside of those situations, work, exercise, food shopping, I'm in the house. I'm writing music. Now we could count the studio too. There's no studio in jail, but in jail I wrote a lot of music. So you know, I'm always home. I'm writing music. I don't have TVs. Or nothing because I saw distractions. If I want to watch TV, I go to one of my baby mother cribs, right? Um, my phones, when I go to bed at night, I turn my phones off. I turn all electronics off because your body is electricity. Your brain waves is electricity. And when your phone is on, it's sending electrical current and waves while your body is resting. And subliminally, you won't get the full rest you need. I don't know the level of iPhones yet, but because I don't have an iPhone, but soon an iPhone is going to be able to record your dreams and and basically um, dub your mindset why you why you sleeping because now your guard is no longer up when you sleep. You're kind of like in a um in an isolated physical state, so you're not going to even be able to um like a certain type of system. It's kind of like um. And yeah, and it like with generators at night, it's like night light. Your brain kind of shuts down and become mellow, so it's more easier for um. It's gonna be more easier for iPhone to duplicate your mindset, your mindset. But that's another thing. That's clairvoyancy, and that's dealing with a different situation. But anyway, a lot of these people that's homeless ain't necessarily broke. There's rich people that's homeless. They don't want to be rich no more. Or they just don't want to have responsibilities no more. And stuff like that, right? And then there's people that's internal homeless. And that means people are having an apartment. But their apartment will be empty. No furniture, no nothing. They sleeping on an air mattress. Their cabinets, their cabinets is empty. You know, and their house is like outside. It's rat infested. It's roach infested, right? But homelessness is a mental condition 
it's an it's an emotional condition it, it it's all type of things right because society sets these standards that they want us to live by and a lot of these standards go against our normal nation and what i mean by that is this people that's when 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 the pilgrims came here when the colonizers came here there wasn't no buildings then the black indigenous and the, and, the, and the Indian indigenous didn't have buildings they had teepees huts they probably had you know um like villages built up out of trees and logs and different stuff like that clay huts and stuff like that it wasn't all these buildings living on top of each other it wasn't, you know, nobody didn't have to pay no con ed. They used candles. They would use wood to light fires or light up the house or the room. They would use natural things, natural elements. It wasn't no con ed bills. It wasn't no TV to distract you. So families would sit around fires and read books to each other or tell history or educate each other or teach each other agriculture or fishing or some type of um, archery trade or, or hunting trade, right? But society now raised the bar on living and standards. People think it's better now, but it's kind of not better. And what I mean by that is this. I remember growing up, I was able to remember 50, 60 phone numbers in my head. I had mad phone books, I had notepads loaded with numbers, but I knew like 50, 60 chicks numbers off cap in my head. You know what I'm saying? The phone dumps you down. So now you don't got to remember numbers because you got your numbers all in your phone and it's easy access is at the, is, you know, it's in the palm of your hands, right? But what they did was they created a way to find out, to find, they created a way to consume all our time. That way we don't focus on them. Back then when the Indians and the indigenous blacks and the indigenous Indians and even in Europe, the Irish or the Scottish when they was going to war against England and everything, it wasn't no TV and all that. It wasn't I'm going to watch Power Martin and all that. So these people had time to focus and really see the doings of the oppressor, the ways of the oppressor. Right? Um... But nowadays, people don't even have time to encounter the oppressor because they weren't about working two jobs to pay rent, to pay bills, to get food, to do this, take care of the kids, do that, do this, pay this, pay that, right? So your mind is distracted on everything else, surviving and just getting by while we still being oppressed and booby trapped and controlled and monitored and dictated upon and oppressed and everything these homeless people don't even want to deal with none of that shit they just want to live free they just want to be free free of bills free of responsibility let me just shoot this dope nod out sleep as long as i get the minimum food and sustenance to eat they shit outside they shit on the wall sometimes they don't even wipe they they you know they behind they butt be itching you know and um I record them a lot, you know, I record dope fiends leaning and passing out, but it's really not in gesture, it's just to show y'all what's really going on in this world, because this shit is complex, you know, and it's only going to get worse, and in the future, a lot of people who think they're alright and got cars and all that, and got apartments and got luxury things, and like I thank Allah for these warm coats and stuff like that, but a time going to come where, um, We all might got to leave and evacuate our place of residence because we're not following the rules and the legislations of the oppressors. So a lot of people are going to eventually have to run and live in the wilderness anyway. Going to have to retreat back to the country anyway. And people are going to have to learn how to build their own homes from scratch with twigs, wood, and whatever they surroundings have. And people going to have to hunt. I know y'all probably think this ain't going to happen. Right? 
They say this whole epidemic situation, oh, this, that, the numbers is rising, blah, 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 blah. But if you notice, they don't bother none of the homeless people. The homeless people is free of getting vaccinations. And they eat garbage. They eat food out the garbage. They, they sleep on the floor with the rats and the roaches. And these people don't get sick. They don't get COVID. And the government ain't forcing them to get COVID. But they forcing us to get COVID. People who have jobs and who are employed. Right? But we on the train with these same homeless people who didn't get the shot or who don't got this or who don't, you know what I'm saying? So how you, they don't know we exposed to something far greater. But, you know, this is the contradictory of the establishment. Right? This is the contradictory of the establishment. Homelessness is not a game. Whether it's internal homelessness or external homelessness. Some people are spiritual homeless. Some people are psychologically homeless. You know what I'm saying? There's different levels to homeless. You know? Some people don't it, some people don't have no integrity. You know, some people just do any and everything they you know, they 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 heart desires and they cravings and you know and stuff like that. But um For everybody out there who feel like giving up The rabbit, the rabbit always loses to the turtle. Haste is waste, right? Never be in a rush to win. Take your time and go with your pace. And eventually you will win. Don't live by nobody's standards. Don't live by nobody's expectations. You set goals and levels and expectations for yourself. You set a point A to point Z for yourself. And you go with your pace. Forget what other people think. Forget other people, you know, other people expectations of you. Let them have expectations for themselves. What works for you might don't work for somebody else. And what works for somebody else might don't work for you. So if there's it, if there is anybody out there on Instagram and on YouTube or anything and y'all homeless or you know, y'all feel like giving up and y'all mentally and spiritually defeated, psychologically defeated, emotionally defeated. Or as dudes, I was living with a girl and um, she be telling y'all, pack y'all shit and get out and stuff like that. Listen, man, I don't care if it's a dishwasher job or a job sweeping barbershop floors. Slow money is better than no money and sacrifice is sufficiency. And what I mean by that is this. Sometimes you got to save your money and don't go to no clubs and don't smoke that weed and don't drink that liquor and just save all your money. And then you will rent a room. And then from a room, you'll get your apartment. And then from an apartment, you can get whatever else you want. You got to take baby steps. But movement is medicine. So as long as you're being progressive, eventually you're going to get to where you want to be and win. If the elevator breaks down in a project building and you live on the 11th floor, you get to the 11th floor by being step by step. Because you can't take the elevator no more and take a fast leap. You got it in order to get to the 11th floor, the 12th floor, a high up floor, you got to go step by step. So the same applies to life, man. You got to go step by step and you got to just, you got to inch up. Just inch your way to the, inch your way up the ladder. You know, some niggas make it look good. You know, they got the big chains, niggas got the big cars. Some dudes is fly, niggas got gear. But you don't know what they did to get this stuff. You know, some people take shortcuts. You know, but I'm going to tell you this. Shortcuts don't last long. People who take shortcuts to win don't last long, man. So take your time. Live by your rules and your standards and your morals. And don't let nobody dictate for you how to win and what's right and what's wrong. You know, and that's even me when I be posting, yo, this what New York City look like and you know, this is how New York City dudes supposed to dress and New York City chicks supposed to dress. If y'all dudes want to wear tight spandex jeans, bro, put on a Richard Simmons suit, man. Let it crush your nuts. Give yourself a wedgie. If y'all want to wear funny Spaceman Kanye boots, wear them, man. That's y'all. You know, do what you do. Live for you, man. The gods don't mingle with the mortals. Kings don't eat with the peasants. The only time wise men hang around fools is when they're educating them or enslaving them. Stay up like a couple of back on my collar crack. We get up like sit-ups. I and I'm oxygen, uno.